and welcome to Q&A a day with me, Chloe. Today's question is how do I make my social media strategy more effective? Now this is a bit of a loaded gun type of question because it's very difficult to tell without knowing the specific details of your company and your particular situation. But today we're going to talk about one important aspect that's often forgotten and that's the integration of your multiple so, uh, multiple marketing communication channels. Often because social media has become the focal point in um, our marketing strategy as we shift from the traditional offline methods to online methods, it's almost as if that is our entire business. And social media isn't our entire business. It's a communication channel. And we should be adopting multiple communi marketing communication channels, offline and online. And one of the most important aspects in making your social media strategy work and any, any marketing communications work is to integrate them all together seamlessly so that you're able to reach customers at various different customer touch points. It takes up to 10 customer touch points before a customer is ready to make a buying decision. So it's really important that you're more in, in more than one place and you're integrating that. So what does that look like? Well, if you have an offline premises, you want to educate your customers and let them know that you are available online. Now, we, they're not going to search you. You know, customers don't go onto Facebook and Twitter every day and think, oh, let me think of all the companies I want to follow. They might do it once in a while, but it's up to you to educate your customers and let them know that you are online and you are available. So that could be window decals, it could be stickers in your car, it could be posters, it could be just having the conversation and speaking with them. You could often entice them. Um, if you're going to say conferences or meetings or events, what you could do is create little social cards. So we often take our business cards, but if you think about it, we tend to be ready to follow on Twitter or like on Facebook or connect on LinkedIn before we're ready to make that phone call and have that coffee meeting. You know, often people don't follow up because they're not ready to have the sales conversation yet. Whereas if you adopt social cards, you can then connect with them online, build the relationship more, and then they will be ready to take it to the next level. Um, this is really great if you have an event and there's a hashtag and there's Twitter lists, make sure you're engaging fully in those too. If you are hosting an offline event, adopt those and integrate that as part of your strategy. If you are doing a presentation, for example, in those few minutes before the presentation starts and a few minutes at the end, encourage people to tweet you or tweet around a hashtag. And not only does that add value to you in that you can connect and follow up with those people online afterwards, but it brings that community together so you're starting to connect one another. And you get the, you get the, um, recognition for that as well. If you are, let's think of another one, voicemail for example, a lot of us don't answer our voicemails. We're busy, we want to be productive, but there's nothing to stop you saying, if you can't, if you can't connect with me here, send me a Facebook message or a Twitter message or a social message of any sorts. So integration is really important. Same with print, make sure you've got your social icons on there. Print is not dead, it goes a long way. And um, the same, of course, if you're doing in-person meetings or phone calls. At the end of your email signature, you want to include your social links. And again, we're focusing on social media, but you want to integrate, again, all of your social media channels, all of your marketing communication channels, and make sure that you're really building up that community and trying to create a place where they're all engaged. They're not just going to do that on your own. Your community is not going to just take action unless you prompt them and if you almost train and educate them to do that, do so. If you think about whatever your sales funnel is and what that customer journey looks like, if you want the next stage to be connect with me on social, that has to be the message consistently. That needs to be the call to action consistently across um, all your other communication channels so that you're funneling people into that one place where you can then guide them through your sales funnel from a social mindset into a transactional mindset. So I truly hope that helps answer that question. Again, if the person who asked it would like to go into more detail, we'd be happy to answer more specifics. Um, you can always email me, chloe at c4compete.com if you have any questions or would like to follow up. Never forget that you have the power to change the world one connection and one conversation at a time. Much love from my heart to yours. I hope we speak soon and have a beautiful day wherever you are in the world. Stopping. This was a waste of money, wasn't it?